there's a CBS interview. If you haven't seen that, CBS interview, CBS News interview. Um, again, clear, confident, comfortable. When I say confident, he's not arrogant. You know, I mean, sometimes he comes across as arrogant, but because he's so playful and jovial, you know, he's he's not being he's not he's 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 not being trying. Try, it's not off-putting. He's confident in such a way that he knows what he's talking about. He, he, he's so clear-minded. It's really great to see something like this. It's, it's fantastic. He's not just listing off talking points that you've heard a million times. He's, he's saying new things, and he says it like 100% confident, and he answers those questions. I don't want to spoil the interview. I want you to go and watch this thing, but the, the way he talks, and it's short. It's like 13 minutes or something, um, or, or less than that. Absolutely fantastic. He's getting more media attention, right, Andrew Yang? It looks like he's getting more media attention. I mean, they have to kind of pay more attention to him now, right? He's he's people are dropping out. He he's still hanging in there. He's rising in the polls. He's doing well. He's getting more media attention. But I wanna I wanna I want to I want to tell you, Yang gangs. Okay, some of you, I don't just the people that I see making videos and all that stuff. Like some of you. I feel like you don't get it. And I feel like Andrew Yang didn't get it. He's getting it now. But you, the, the media is not going to give you a fair shake. Okay? I've been following politics. You know, I love politics. I've been following these races for 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 a long time now. Since, well, since George W. Bush and, and Al Gore. You know, that's when I came online. That's when I started paying attention. And the media doesn't give... Candidates, the fair shake. They're, they're not going to. The, the, in order to get the media's attention, you're going to have to be innovative and come up with innovative ideas that don't depend on the media paying attention to you. I feel like all this eggs is like, if we can only get the media to pay attention to us, who cares? Who cares if the media pays attention to you? Bernie Sanders was running for president last time around. And the news would show an empty podium, Donald Trump's empty podium. Before Donald Trump was going to speak, they would show it for a very long time. While Bernie Sanders is speaking live, they would even cut away from Bernie Sanders to show this empty podium. They're not going to give you a fair shake. Bernie Sanders is filling up all stadiums and thousands of people coming out for him. And they wouldn't show him. Bernie Sanders had to change the entire game in order for the media to pay attention to him okay i don't think andrew yang is doing that yet so i don't think you should rely on the media just come up with your own ideas to spread this message go viral he's the tech president go go online do something online right oh my god look i'm going to be thinking about this more and more but I really want to let you know. I might, the, the, one of the reasons that I started doing this show is that I want to tell you Yang Gangers who might not have been in politics before, who don't get it. The media is not on your side, okay? They are not going to give you a fair shake. I don't know if they're malicious or anything like that. I just know they have their bottom line, which is money, and they're going to get more ratings by, you know, they're fixing the fight. You know, they they, 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 they know who they want to be at the top, you know. They, they know their basic candidates. They, do, they know, they want things to be fairly predictable, but a little bit contentious. You know, they're looking for the... They got their guys already, you know, and you can see it by just the, how much media attention some people get versus others. They're going to bury Andrew, man. They, either they don't see him as a real candidate, as a legitimate candidate, candidate, either they don't see him as a legitimate candidate, or they do, which is worse. They do, and they're burying him on purpose. If they can't see that he's legitimate now, they're not going to be able to see this thing. They're not. They, and if they're if they're if they can see it, they're burying it. They don't want him to be on top. And I mean, come on now. We've seen this game before. I'm very worried about how naive Andrew Yang is relative to the media. He's like, 
you know, uh, I'm beginning to figure out, you know, he's starting to see the process now that he's up close. It's like, have, has he not been paying attention to politics? I mean, he's friends with Lawrence Lessig. He must know how biased the media is. Oh, I thought they would like me. What? I thought they would like me. I mean, maybe they will in the future. I don't know. I don't know how things are going to shape up, but. I'm worried, okay? Spoiler alert, Andrew Yang will get screwed by the media and the DNC, just like Ron Paul, just like Lawrence Lessig, just like Bernie Sanders, okay? (laughs) I think everybody should have a fair shot. Everybody who's running for president should have a fair shot to get their message out. But I also know that's not going to happen. So be undeniable. Be undeniable. Make it impossible for them to ignore you. No, I'm telling you this because I want you to prepare your heart, okay? Because every day you wake up and think, and he's not having the breakout that you're looking for, he's not having that breakout that you're looking for, that huge, sorry, that huge exposure, that breakout that he's looking for. Every time you wake up and then that's not happening, I feel like a little bit of you is going to die a little bit because I've, I've gone through this. And you're like, what is going on? And then Andrew's going to do something fantastic and he's going to perform amazing and they're still not going to talk much about him and you're going to go, what is happening? And so if you don't know that this is the game, that that's the case, then one, you're going to be easily manipulated, okay? Because they're going to herd you right where they want you to go. And then right at the finish line or very near the finish line, they're going to trip that guy, man. They're going to whoop. They're going to put their foot out and trip Andrew Yang, okay? They know how to do it. They know how to do it. I said Ron Paul earlier, okay? Maybe some of you heard me say Ron Paul and you think, you think, Ron Paul, wasn't he that racist old white guy who was running for president? That crazy, kooky, racist, white supremacist presidential candidate? That's what I'm talking about. Ron Paul ain't no racist, but it's what they brand you. Bernie Sanders is like this gun loving and he's against uh, women and uh, saying all kinds of terrible things about Bernie Sanders. Like, I don't think Bernie Sanders is like that. They smear you and they're like Tulsi Gabbard, right? What did they say about her? She's an Assad apologist and it's like they just, they haven't really been tripping up Andrew Yang yet, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. They're going to stick their foot out and trip, 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 trip. They have it all lined out. So you got to go around them, man. You got to bypass them. At the very least, do both, Right. Go the media route, try to convince them, try to get them on board with you, and then also go around. I don't like that Andrew Yang wants to sort of, like, he's, the, he's not in the establishment, right? He's an outsider, but he seems to, like, be keen on being an insider. Uh, working on, with everyone on both sides and all that, it's wonderful, but it, is, it sounds like becoming insider, you know? You want to be kind of on the outside always, you know? Don't look for the media to be your buddy, your pal. Like, who cares? If you are undeniable, they'll have to report on you. And you will change things. Just look at what Bernie did. 